got a few minutes left for the morning drive. We can just have a look around there. Some rhinos not too far from here earlier this morning. Let's see if we can maybe find them as well. But wow, what a leopard sighting. That was just magnificent. There's no one around there, let's go have a look around and we find them. and a youngster. Mm. Beautiful white rhinos. Ears pointing our way. Obviously hearing us driving in. While she's looking up at us like that you can clearly see the square wide lips and the long elongated skull and jawbone. Easy way to recognize if they're white rhino. Tiranos we haven't seen here recently. There's that other female and calf that we saw every now and again. But the female was bigger, longer horn, and the calf was smaller. The calf was only about six months. This calf probably about ten months to a year even, close to a year old. You can see that second little horn starting to form quite well and the front horn starting to be a bit longer as well. The cow herself, not the biggest cow I've ever seen, so she could also not be that old yet, maybe she's only about seven, eight years old, maybe this is her first or second calf. Nice and relaxed as well, which is awesome. Hopefully they're going to stick around this area for a while. Drongo flying around there as well, grabbing an insect.
amazing looking animals very prehistoric I and mean, at one stage as little as 50 60 years ago they were literally probably millions of them in Africa spread out all over they didn't have any major predators anything that would really hunt them are lions and maybe hyenas could go for the young calves but even that's not very common covered a huge part of Africa, everything that wasn't desert. And even some of the deserts of Namibia, black rhino can cope in there as well. In the space of a few decades, humans managed to almost wipe both species, black and white rhino, off the face of the earth. That's why it's very special and amazing actually to be able to sit here and just watch these two. They're not afraid of us, they haven't grown up having to worry about people. Hopefully that happens more and more with more rhinos and other species in bigger and bigger areas around the world. But these two are happy. With a good area, good grass to eat, water also get water from. enough rhinos to successfully continue on breeding. There's enough population throughout Kruger. There's enough of them to keep the genetics good. This female as she's standing there now probably could be pregnant again already. That calf, like I said, is about a year old, just under a year. It's about this time around, this time a little bit earlier even that mum could have mated again. She's a young cow, so she'll still be very fertile. So hopefully in another year and a half, two years from now, There'll be another little one running around. We've got a gestation of 16 months. It's quite a while for rhino fetus to develop. That is a beautiful, beautiful image. White rhino with all the grass around her. Perfect habitat. alert to the environment. You can see her nodding and she stops and just lifts the head up a bit, listens around a bit. Not too bothered by us, but still aware of us, but also just the general surroundings. Obviously having a calf means it's just also a bit more alert than if you had like two big bulls hanging around for instance. <laughs> 